Now Dragomir Illy married Ruxandra and her road to the semi-final had a bye in the first round then beat Annabel Medina Garriguez the Spanish number one 7664 avenging the defeat last year on the grass in Ser Hockenbosch then beat Kim Kleisters the 11th seed 6765 six, retired set and five one down say four match points but came through with Kim injuring that right knee we hear it could be a tear in the cartilage not confirmed as yet as we see the Schneider support camp husband Rainer Hoffman and Jürgen fellow Eurosport commentator her manager sitting courtside and then yesterday beat Svetlana Kuznets of a two and two up against her Justine Enan Arden 22 years of age the Belgium number one and what a run of results she's had she lost to Sharapova in Miami but then won Charleston and Warsaw and with the matches that she's won at this event already she comes into this semi-final on a 15 match winning streak and what a win it was against Sharapova yesterday in the quarterfinals was two love down lost the first seven points of the match and then was phenomenal six in a row to the delight of a coach there Carlos Rodriguez to take the first set 6-2 and then it was a tough, tough second set with Sharapova not going away at all without an enormous fight. But Justine coming through 6 4 in the second set to avenge that defeat in Miami. As Carlos has been saying long and hard, a year off virtually, or lots of time off, Joe. Mm. She's a more mature, better person, better player. That's right. I think she learns a lot about herself. Well, you do when you've got a bit of time on your hands. But she said she was so upset when she hurt her knee. She was actually out in Australia and she knew something was wrong. And she said as soon as she found out the news, she cried because it was sort of too important to her at the time. But now looking back, she realises it probably was a bit soon to try and come back and maybe pushing her body too much. Pretty impressive, the head-to-heads, the last of those. Last week in the quarter-final in Warsaw on the clay, of course three games for Schneider so that won't help coming in here but you can never tell with Patty with everything to contend with you're never quite sure what to expect mm. but for this year Joe she's been phenomenally consistent I mean she really has well exactly I mean she's won Gold Coast tournament right at the beginning of the year and it's always nice to get off to a good start and then uh, a couple of semi-finals four quarter-finals so yes Chris really consistent and she's had some great wins this week because she'd never beaten Kim Kleisters before even though Kim had to retire she was playing great tennis so having some good rallies even then mm. confirmation of the semi-finalists So the semi-finals about to get underway after a 30-minute delay because of rain. Paddy Schneider, the Swiss number one, 26 years of age, heading back towards her career high of number eight of uh, six years ago. She's currently at 13 in the world and taking on the former world number one, of course. For 45 weeks, she reigned supreme in parts of 2003 and four. It's Justine Enan Arden, the Belgian number one. Let's hope we have a cracker. It'll be Schneider to get us underway. I think the uh, sort of heavy conditions help Patty Schneider and she can really weave that web she likes to she can hit soft or hard angle down the line you name it she can do it <laughs> Sometimes as a player, Joe, when you have a phenomenal performance as Justine did yesterday, it's tough to come out again the next day, isn't it? It is, but uh, I think Justine would be one of those who could do it time after time.
finish up. And she's had by far the tougher route coming through. Didn't get a bye in the first round. It's a new experience in the last couple of years. But three three setters against Benisova, Kirilenko, Peshka. Before the straight sets win yesterday against Sharapova. Magnificent. But as we were saying yesterday, Joe, showing no signs of fatigue at all. No, looking extremely fit. And of course, she is used to winning match after match. I mean, after all, you know, won three Grand Slams, and that's seven matches you have to win within uh, sort of two weeks. So she's looking forward to Roland Gas, but she's trying not to get too excited because it's her favourite tournament. <laughs> yes. And she receives enormous support there. You know, Belgium being so close, flocks of flan fans, as opposed to flans. I mean, they do do lovely flans in Belgium as well. Break point. Point. to battle already so much has been said about Justine's backhand Joe and it is magnificent yes but I still think the forehand is slightly stronger I don't know what you think well but she actually says that too she says yeah. you know I like to hit my forehand probably more than my backhand the right thing following it in but the drop shot was never really good enough well it's twice already in this game she's tried it one went in the net and that was actually too high and interesting that she's already thinking about it trying to get patty on the move makes the game look so easy doesn't she yes superb That's what I love about Justine, is that she can look as though she's in an ordinary point, just rallying away, and then suddenly, wham, that racket head goes through the ball twice as fast, mm. and it's a, a really powerful shot. Just missed. Four times. <laughs> Either way, looks so easy. I mean, she can curl it across court and then flattens it out slightly further down the line, all in the same stroke. Oh! Okay. 
the first LA from Justine. She's so determined. Third semi-final of the year, remember, for the comeback for Carlos and Justine. Third semi-final here as well. And there is the first break, right at the start of the match on her second break point attempt. Twice a former champion of this event, Justine. So good memories, but it's all about right here and now. Yes, that's for sure. And uh, for, for me, I mean, that match yesterday against Sharapova was awesome. Mm, it was, wasn't it? The way she dealt with it. And in the end, she was the one attacking far more than Sharapova. Yeah. I suppose she went in with a mindset that she'd have to because she knew mm. exactly what Sharapova was going to come out with. Yes. And she had to do it bigger and better, and she did. Mm. Moves beautifully on this surface. One love. swing isn't it and as we said at the start Justine has never lost to Paddy Schneider it's five zip on the head-to-head -head. three of them have been three setters though so Justine I'm sure will be mindful of that and of course the form that Patty's been showing both in mind and on the court but again Justine attacking really well up the court. She's looking for this. Nicely set up for the shot. And she's ready for a volley. Beautiful to watch. It's relentless. As is the rain, it's drizzling oh. again. Such a shame. And the court's already very heavy yep. from the rain they've had all week, so it won't take much for them to go in again. Oh. Can be off putting when it starts to rain, that especially with 40 love. I mean, it's early enough in the match where it's not going to be too disruptive, of course. But it's not easy to keep your focus. I mean, the saving grace, as Justine takes a two love lead. If this was at Wimbledon, the charge of the light brigade would have happened already and they'd have been in the shower by now. <laughs> well, yes, I'm afraid that's just the different surfaces. Clay, of course, can absorb a lot of moisture. Wonder in the old days at Wimbledon, the little drizzle was nothing. They'd no, keep going. Right. You just slid on the court. Yeah. You? I think the players would want to keep going as well. They know it's going to be rainy all day, so play as much as you can. Yeah.
just so confident looking. I mean, it's not surprising with the success she's had on the return, but this is special again already. Yeah, so sure yeah. of where she wants to put the ball every time. There's a real purpose about every shot she hits. unlucky but I think Paddy has got to do something different she just can't sit around she's got to try to dominate and take the game back to Justine didn't really commit enough to that half volley that's a great length on the first of the break points just a look an erasing of the mark You could watch that a dozen times and never tire of it. A double break cushion, it's a three love lead. Three love. There's plenty of love all round it seems. Completely lost my train of thought now. This is just unbelievable. That's it. This reminded me of seeing another winner like that. We were talking <laughs> on the break, Joe. She's already the favourite going into the French, yes. miraculously, but the odds are shortening with the last day and a bit. Oh, are they? I mean, really, yeah. I mean, if you had a bet on, what, three weeks ago before she really started winning. Yeah, very much so. Good point. I think Yelena Yankovic is going to surprise many. She already has this year, but I think great things of uh, Yankovic coming up. Got a great attitude, good game, enormous desire and ambition. She's in the second semi-final here, remember, against uh, Nadia Petrova of Russia. In. Just too good again. See, I'm not really sure what Patty Schneider can do in this mm. situation. I just think Justine is playing too good, too well for her. Maybe moon balls. Anything Maybe, vastly yeah. different. Mm. Chip and chow, serve and volley, anything. The rain's getting heavier, much heavier. I don't think they're going to be able to stay on much longer. Just a temptation for Enin Arden maybe to rush yeah. a little bit as it starts getting harder, the rain. She'd love to go in with a four love lead. like a national holiday as we've had out here a few days ago for Paddy Schneider a sort of a cheap point here It, the positioning is so good that oh, wow. Schneider really had yeah. no chance to even guess which way. 
Yeah, pay attention, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> so important to have eye contact when a player wants it. Mm. Looks in disbelief. Not having a high percentage of luck, well not luck, but winners on these drop shots. Yeah. Not sure why she's still trying to go ahead with them. Just gone off the boil a little from the very high standard that she's been setting. Gives Schneider a chance here. Five foot five and three quarters, one meter sixty seven. What a serve it is. chance there for Schneider should have done better than that easy from here of course yeah, and also she's desperate for points yeah so it, it's even harder to try pass like that oh! Justine Holt saves the break point and extends the lead Rainer Hoffman had his husband. Yeah. Must have been fearing the worst at a set and five one down against Kim Kleisters. Yes, that's true. No, she fought back well there because uh, Kim didn't get injured until at least the 5 4 game, I don't think. Yeah. I'm going to say four match points. Business like, isn't it? Mm. Just what I was thinking. I mean, I've said yesterday, busy feet, but all the time you can hear the sort of shuffling as Justine gets around the ball. And look at this dancing around before she hits the smash. The look on her face as well, she's just loving this. So delighted to be back. And rightly so. It's great to have her back. And again, fingers crossed for Kim Kleisters. Yes. Oh. She's fairly racing towards the end of this first set now. Three chances for the five love lead. Shanita's got to try something different and soon. <laughs> I don't think it matters if this court floods. Justine will just still be able to walk down the other end. The first five games to the Belgian. Welcome back, just in time, and welcome live if you're just joining us. Justine Enan Arden amidst the rain, the drizzle, serving for the set. Oops. Now, was that a tube attempt? Justine thought so. <laughs> this is interesting. Will there be an apology <laughs> from Schneider? I'm not sure. I mean, you can legally go for wow. your opponent, but not the head, I wouldn't think. That was quite on. Usually they go for the stomach area. 
I mean, I've you know done that myself, had it done to me, but not the head. No. I certainly put an edge on it now. Mm. I'm not sure you want to make Justine mad, though. No. Especially at five love down. The look said it all afterwards, didn't it? Wow, that was travelling, and that's in slow mo. And so I'm thinking if this goes on much longer the way Justine is playing, then we have seen Patty in the past just mm. roll over and yep. say, I'm not interested. Yeah, the first few games, second set, yep. key. I mean, she learned a great lesson against Kim, though, didn't she? Set and five, mm. one down, keep battling. That's you true. just don't know. Yep. Same here. It's been all one way at the moment. And still is. Two set points for the number 12 seed. Number 12 seed. How ridiculous is that? Obvious reasons, but not for long. Superb set of tennis. It's just carrying on from where she left off yesterday against Sharapova. There's a real steal about Justine Anan Arden. It's a bagel. It's a six-love set.